So you're from Japan. Why do you speak English? <laughs> My name is Tenille. I'm Chie Dambara. I'm from Japan, though I was born in Spain. What age did you move from Spain to Japan? Uh, I moved to Tokyo when I was seven. I would say it was pretty difficult, you know, to call me gaijin, which means outsider. People we'll consider me a gaijin just because I don't look fully Japanese. Raised by my grandparents, grandmother was very Japanese, very traditional. Uh, she was actually completely against my father marrying non-Japanese. Same as my grandmother. Oh yeah? Mom, yeah. Well, they don't want to taint the, the blood. <laughs> In Spain, the town where my mother's from, definitely there was no Asians. They would call me Chinese because I looked Asian. You know, I never felt like I was at home in either Spain or Japan. I grew up in Fayetteville, Arkansas, down south. Very white upbringing. I like to joke sometimes with my half Asian friends that I'm extremely whitewashed, which I am. My mother is third generation Japanese. So you're fourth. I'm fourth. Does your mom speak Japanese? No, this is what I'm saying. Growing up in Arkansas was pretty normal, I'd say. Run into a few times of people asking like, what are you? My friends at school would be like, open your eyes, Tennille, when we would be like taking mm -hmm. a class picture or something. Which, you know, it's teasing. They're mm -hmm. just little kids. But at the same time, though, it's like, yeah, mm -hmm. different. So I will say, I, I make the same joke to my dad. I'm like, are your eyes open? <laughs> <laughs> they like joke about it with each other. But it's rude if an outsider does it. Exactly. It's interesting that even though you're fourth generation, you still have such strong relationship to the Japanese culture where like your mother tells you you are Japanese interesting because that's what my grandma said to me too mm -hmm. being half Japanese is very special I mean like other half Japanese yeah. like there's an automatic kinship are you are you are, yeah you are I immediately thought you were like me I felt so connected to you even though you were not raised in Japan remember we were hanging out by the pool she like takes off her clothes my sort of like stereotype of like Americans, they take it off and like leave it where she would like take it off and like fold it neatly <laughs> on the side and I was like, oh my god, you're just so Japanese. <laughs> so you, you grew up in Arkansas and then? I went to Los Angeles for a few years, fell into modeling out there, ended up getting scouted in this nightclub. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow, cool. And then now you're in New York. I had some good friends out in LA that were like, Tanil, you should move to New York. You have that look for it. You know what? They were right half Japanese and German. There's that like sort of beauty to it, more exotic. I know you hate that word. I mean, I think that that's just a way to classify people who are half. Like you aren't mainstream, right? You're exotic, which I feel like the things that are trending right now is all white or all Asian. Like how many people can you name that are half Asian? Four famous. Steve Aoki. Is he half? He's half Japanese. Oh, what's Not his other half? His dad's Japanese and his mom's white. I always think it's really amazing when someone has a Japanese father. Yeah, like who married? Yeah, like she. Is. It's usually the 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 mom who's, who's Japanese. Japanese. Yeah, I love to see it. I moved to Boston when I was eighteen. It's a big culture shock. On TV, I feel like you see more of this. We accept everybody. Yeah, like a melting Everyone's, pot. Especially where I grew up, they're all white. They grew up in the sticks, you know? So they don't they don't leave or have any sort of way to meet people from other cultures. So I moved to Miami in 2016. I'm not in Miami. I realized that people didn't know what matcha was. And it's predominantly because there are no Asians in Miami. So little Asians. I feel like that's what happened when I walked into your uh, matcha shop. Are you friends? Yeah. <laughs> Do we know each other? So many matcha shops were popping up left and right in New York and LA. Mm -hmm. So I was like, wow, what, how crazy that Miami is such a health conscious city. I didn't know who a matcha was. So I was like, Chie more or less brought the matcha movement to Miami. My grandmother was a tea ceremony master and I had a friend who, who had a farm in Japan, so I was like, let's go. I want to make a Jap traditional Japanese matcha cafe. Mm. I wanted it to be a fusion because that's what I am. When I got my green card and I had to do the American uh, biometrics, yeah. I went, put Asian, check, white, check, and the guy was like, you got to pick one. They didn't really tell yeah. you that? They yelled at me, they were like, why would you mark two? You have to pick one. And I'm like, but I'm both. And they're like, no, you look Asian, put Asian. And I was like, 
But I'm not, I'm also Spanish. He's like, it doesn't matter. You have Asian in you, you're not white. Only, there's only so many categories that you can fit into. The reality is, we are I think it was 2017, Miss Universe. Miss uh, Japan, she was half black. She was raised in Japan, speak, I mean, fluent Japanese because she was Japanese. Trump said, uh-uh, she's not gonna participate in Miss, Miss Universe. Prime example of what it means to be a guy. Because she's half, she gets disqualified. It's the fact that you have to choose a bucket to fit in as a race. I'm sick of having to pick a side. This is also what we were talking about. There's an actor, he's only a quarter Japanese. And he leans into it because if he picks, oh yeah, I'm, I'm Japanese, I'm this, 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 this. We're gonna wait, that's or, one too many. You yeah, need to exactly, pick one. Exactly. He's gonna lean into it. It will help people accept him so he can move his career along. We are being cornered to do that. We can mm -hmm. do both. Which is not fair for us. If you put me or Chie next to an actual Japanese person, we are clearly not, not Japanese. Japanese. You put her next to a Spanish person, not Spanish. Mm -hmm. You put me next to a white person, I'm not. Fashion shows, they only cast you in the Asian brands. Like you're an exotic looking Asian. You can be in the Asian shows, but these other ones, no. Because you're not full Asian, you're not full white. But in this, in this circumstance, we're okay with putting you in as an Asian. It's messed up. I do feel like I'm stuck, though, somewhere in my career right now that I can't progress to these bigger jobs that I want to do because I don't fit in to what's mainstream. Where does that leave me? Where does that leave all of us? This channel is going to be great because we're going to be able to answer a lot of the questions that I get all the time. The what are you question is actually very interesting because yeah, like are we halfies? Are we halfus? Are we hapas? Are we gaijins? Are we mixed? Like mm -hmm. what yeah. bucket do we fit in? But that's the thing. We don't fit into any bucket. I think if you or anyone else around you are feeling like you don't belong to a culture, you don't belong to any specific group, that's fine. Welcome to the club.